This is my audience, my mother and father. Hi, my name is Sarah Bell and I'm doing a presentation on George Washington, the father of our country. I'd like to start us out with a quote from George Washington. I hope I shall possess firmness and virtue enough to maintain what I consider the most inevitable of all titles, the character of an honest man. George Washington is most famously known as our first president of the United States. But how did he know how to govern the United States without any former guidance? Well, he used his leadership qualities like vision and passion, his command for fellowship, crucial delegation and empowerment to his people. Because of these qualities, he helped create the new world. First, we'll start out with vision and passion. The first qualities that marked his success in history was his visionary and passion for liberty and freedom. George Washington had a vision, a vision of a country free from the rule of Great Britain. He also had a vision that the new world would have a constitutional government created by the people. George Washington's number one goal was to reach freedom for the people of this country. The next step we have command and fellowship, which is one of the most important. George Washington stood out amongst all the other leaders of this time because of his leadership qualities. The qualities that also got him the role of commander in chief of the Continental Army. Not everyone agreed on the rule of a new world. Because of this, the colonies were not united. George Washington spoke up to thousands of untrained men and got them to volunteer to fight for their freedom in battle. During his reign as commander in chief, he gained accountability and dedication. Because of this, during the world, during the war, Supplies were meek, and especially during this period of time. The men were not getting paid, and George Washington found that very unfair. He took it upon himself to pay these men out of his own pocket. Because of this fellowship and command of the Continental Army, they had small victories, and these small victories would lead to a big victory, our independence from Great Britain. Next up, we have crucial delegation and empowerment. Because of the big role he played in the segregation from Great Britain, he was asked to run for the position of the first president of the United States. George Washington was reluctant at first. He just wanted to retire. But he came around and he won the Electoral College votes, every single one of them. That's the first and the last time that's ever happened in our history. Because of George Washington's empowerment, we were able to create a country that was free from royal rules. And because George Washington stuck to his values and his vision, he also helped create the constitutional government that was by the people and for the people. As his reign as the first president of the United States, he gained honesty and integrity. This is what would help him lead for eight years in a row. This would also help all the following presidents that we've had to, till today. In conclusion, George Washington became known as the father of our country. He was truly the American, and so many people still strive to become this today. But where are we because of George Washington? Well, because of his leadership skills, we stand here today on a free country full of free speech and full of all certain rights. I am truly thankful for George Washington and his leadership skills. Because of his vision, his passion, his fellowship and accountability, dedication, delegation, 
and in his empowerment to his people, we stand here today as we are. Thank you. And then don't stop it. Here's my audience. Thank you.